This is a new interpretation of quantum mechanics in the raw. Do not think about the nose. Quantum mechanics is about sending and receiving messages from one side of an experiment to the other. When we want to send a message, we make something else carry it. In quantum mechanics, most often we use the vacuum as the carrier. The vacuum is everywhere and it's very noisy. We can modulate or mould an American encyclopedia, say, into the vacuum once or twice or more. Each of those is different because there are more ways to mould noise than there are ways to mould clay. If we mould clay once, we're done, but noise is more subtle. We can mould an American encyclopedia and a British encyclopedia, say, into the vacuum. We can mould in some Shakespeare and add it to make a superposition. Let's suppose that when we send a message, we know how big it is. Knowing that lets quantum mechanics answer how big is this moulded vacuum, which it turns out is a powerful thing to know, because it lets us answer how big is the difference between these two moulded vacuums, and how much is this moulded vacuum like this other moulded vacuum, and lots more questions can be answered. What does it mean to mould the vacuum if it is so noisy? In practice, we often work with many copies, and we ask a yes or no question. Then in quantum mechanics, more likeness becomes more likeliness, or probability, that the answer is yes. Nothing specially weird so far, right? What's weird about quantum mechanics is that changing the order in which we mould messages into the vacuum matters. That doesn't sound like much, but that's every bit of where the weirdness of Heisenberg's uncertainty and Schrodinger's cat is. Here's a secret even most physicists don't know yet. For quantum optics, for one example, there's a hidden way to mould signals which transparently moulds A into the vacuum, which is just as good as moulding A into the vacuum the usual quantum mechanical way. But when we transparently mould A and then B into the vacuum, the order doesn't matter. So it's kind of not quite so weird. And yet, in fact, all the math is exactly the same. It's sending and receiving some category of signals, encrypting them, massaging them, anything you can imagine doing to them, and very often the order does matter. Classical signal analysis is complicated. Indeed, it's exactly as complicated as quantum mechanics. There is superposition, and Bell inequalities are violated by classical physics. But weirdly, it's kind of not quite so weird. We're making progress in our understanding of quantum mechanics.